I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm just, I love reading books. <laughs> As you can already tell, I just, I love it. Delusion is the way to go. That is the only option, okay? <laughs> Welcome to my favorite video of the month. My name is Daniela and today we're going to pick all the books that I'm going to read in August. Now, this video has three parts as always. The first part is seeing what the mystery book is. The second part is books I already know that I want to read. And the third part is my TBR jar or candy jar, butterfly jar, whatever you want to call it because it's the most beautiful thing ever. And without much ado, Let's get into it. Also, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and do all that. I also have a second channel if you want to check it out. So let's get into things. So the first category is the mystery book, which we have here, ta-da. This is a small one, which I'm very thankful because the one in July was crazy. Now for everyone who doesn't know, at the start of the year, I wrapped 12 books and every single book um, corresponds to the month and by that I mean the title of each book has a number and that number corresponds to the month. Now August is the eighth month so the number eight must be in the title. Frankly I don't remember what the books are because they're all from a secondhand book website but let's see it together. So this is the book of August. Let's do it. Oh, this is so exciting. It's like my favorite part. Okay, okay. Are you ready? I'll, I'll show you first and then I'll look. Did you see what it is? This is The Eighth Day by John Case, international best-selling author of The Genesis Code. Okay, so in this book, it says, for struggling artist and part-time investigator Danny Cray, the offer is just too good to resist. A wealthy, enigmatic lawyer has asked him to discover who is behind the vicious campaign that is threatening to destroy the reputation of one of his clients. An elusive billionaire, and Danny knows they will pay handsomely for the information. Okay, so this from... I'm not going to read the whole thing because some books just are absurd and write way too much. Um, but this seems like a thriller, a mystery, and... It's right up my alley, so I look forward to it. I don't know why, but this is like the third book, I think, with um, that's like a thriller or stuff like that. And I feel like maybe it's a theme for thrillers or mysteries to have numbers in the title, but I don't know, I look forward to it. So this was the mystery book of the month and let's go to the next category, I guess. Now the next category is books I want to read and <laughs> this month this is going to be the biggest category because there are so many books I want to read that I just, there's too many at this point. So let's go through them. So the first one is one I started in July but I didn't finish, at least it's still not the end of July but I don't think I'm going to finish it by the end of the month. Um, so I want to finish it in August. This is Poems 1953 to 1988 by Anthony Twait. And so far so good. Uh, they're poems, so they're quite easy to read. Uh, There's just a lot of them. And with poems, you just can't read them all at once. At least that's how I feel. So this is definitely a book I want to finish in August. Um, after that, I have two books that are summer themed that I had in my um, summer reading plans, if you will, and August is the last month of the summer, as you know, so I do want to finish them. This is Summer Days and Sea Breezes by Carolyn Matthews. Carol, I don't know why the Carolyn happened, but Carol Matthews, as you can see. And then I have uh, Nights of Rain and Stars by Maeve Benchy. So I already talked about these two books. I'm not going to get too into them. You can check my summer reading video, if you will. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to read these. I'm more excited about this than this one, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to wait till the end of August to decide, like, if I like them or not, because so far I know nothing about these two, but they're on my August list. Now, it's the last chance for me to read them before 
autumn starts and then it feels kind of awkward to read them, at least for me, because I'm very much a mood and a aesthetic reader, if you will. I don't know if that's the correct term, but that's what we're going for. After that, and perhaps the most exciting book, <laughs> we have Heaven Officials Blessings. Uh, this is volume three. This is by Moxiang Tongsu and Tian Guang Chifu. Also, the translator is Suika, but again, all of these names are pretty much uh, pseudonyms um, because I don't think any of them are the real name. Because China has a lot of restriction and this is a Danmei, this is um, male love, boy love, whatever. Uh, it's a relationship between two men, so and is written by an author that lives in China, so it has a lot of restrictions, so I get why the authors don't want their name plastered all over, but this is such a good book. I don't know about this, but this series, I'm in love with it. Um, I read the first and the second. I'm going to talk about the second in the next video, the July wrap-up, so look forward to that. Um, but I really, really, really am excited for this one. Um, I just I just love the entire series. They're my number one OTP, one true pairing. And I just, the art is just, ah, oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. Look at this. Like, that is stunning. That is the epitome of gorgeous. It's just so beautiful. And the writing, I just love this series writing, so I look forward to this so much, so I'm just, I'm so excited, I'm just, I love reading books, <laughs> as you can already tell, I just, I love it, so this is the one, two, three, fourth book that I plan to read just because I feel like it, and there's some other books as well, we have these, Penguin Modern, uh, I think I want to read five more, so these five. Um, this is The Great Hunter by Patrick Kavanagh. We have The Three Electron Knights by Stanislaw Lem. Um, then Food by Gertrude Stein. Notes on Nationalism by George Orwell. And The Veiled Woman by Anais Nin. Now, I went fast through them. I also have a video where I look through every single one of them. So you can also check that out if you will. Um, but these ones, I have this little series. It's called Penguin Modern Quest Journey Through the Box. Uh, I think that's what it's called. Where I basically read a few of these, like five per episode. I started calling them episodes. Five through episodes and just see what I like, what I don't like. And I feel... Like, this is a great way to get into books that you'd never get or authors you might never discover otherwise. So I'm having a lot of fun with it. And in August, I plan on reading five more. This doesn't sound much, but the amount of books I've collected so far is a lot. And I don't want to pressure myself like I do every single month without excuse. But we're going to disregard that, okay? delusion is the way to go that is the only option okay so this was the last of the second category and now let's finally go to the tbr jar the third part and <laughs> i'm going to be honest with you we're only going to pick two things and if they're too long i'll put them back because you saw the madness i just picked i cannot do more books than this <laughs> okay i i need a life so this is my jar, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful jar, as you can see. Ta-da! Okay, let me put this here. Let's pick two and then we'll see. Okay, this is the first one. Last time you couldn't see anything because everything was blurred, but I will do my best. Can you see that? No, it doesn't matter. This is The Sacred Comb by Thomas Maloney. And then the second one is a blue one. And this is The King's Speech by Mark Logue and Peter Conradi. I wanted to read this for such a long time, 
it's been on my bookshelf and it's it keeps winking at me but I haven't picked it up yet so I I really look forward to this one I don't know what the sacred comb is about but let's find out um, let me pick them out and then I'll be right back I'm back and I got the books and I must say this has such a beautiful cover look at that it is so so beautiful I don't remember owning this but it's gorgeous also look at the inside so beautiful can you see that it's just beautiful I don't know what this is about but it's gorgeous so this is the sacred comb by Thomas Maloney um, and let's skip the back and let's just go okay <laughs> Samuel Brown's wife has left him suddenly after three years of marriage. She invites him to go and live a better life without me. He must start again and alone. And so it is that Sam finds himself deep in the English countryside in a cold by characterful old house remote and circled by hills in the employment and company of an older, wiser man, a man as fond of mystery as he is of enlightenment. What is the purpose of the seemingly hopeless task set for Sam in the house's ancient library? Okay, I see you. Uh, what is the secret of the unused room? And where does a life lose its way or gain its meaning? The comb is home to a truth born of fraud, a building made of light and a family wrecked by recklessness. Uh, loss and love revertebrate around the house and around the novel providing pleasure, pain, and purpose. Con Hall is a house designed to honor and enthrall, and this very fine debut novel does exactly the same. I am hooked. You said Secret Library? I said, give me. Um, this is fantastic. Also, debut novel? Okay. Oh, I love this. I look forward to this. I'm so excited. Also, every time I see a pretty book, I'm in like I am that oh look my book is a little messed up well I did buy it from a second hand so I can't complain but this is the sacred comb I look forward to it and this is the first of the two books I picked let's see what the other one is okay so this is the King's speech I hate books that have film shots on the cover page but we'll get over it um and let's see what this is about. Oh my God, do they have to put the whole book on the back? Jesus Christ. Okay, let me read just a tiny part. This is the previously untold story of a remarkable relationship between Logue and the haunted future King George VI, written with Logue's grandson and drawing exclusively from his grandfather Lionel's diaries and archive. It throws an extraordinary life on the intimacy of two men and the vital role of the king's wife, the late Queen Elizabeth, Queen Mother, played in bringing them together to save her husband's reputation and reign. I don't think I picked the right paragraph <laughs> because this make it sound like they were lovers. It's not. It's about the king being unable to give public speeches. So he gets a kind of like a professor to help him. Um, he's not a professor. He gets someone to help him um, get over his public fright, if you will. And I think this is the true story since this is from the diaries and everything yeah I don't know what to say about this there's also a movie I saw the first 15 minutes because we were watching it in class and then the bell rang so I did not finish the movie I have no idea what this is about but I look forward to it like I said this kept winking at me from my bookshelf so I'm so excited to read this also there are real life photographs can you see that? Black and white and everything. So this is exciting. So yeah, this is the last book from the TBR jar, from the two books. So let me show you all the books so you can see just how unhinged I am. Just insane. No common sense at all. None to be found. Okay, so these are all the books that I plan <laughs> to read in August. And do you see this? No common sense. That's what I was talking about. I keep, I keep like, oh, I'll pick this book and I'll pick that book and I'll pick that book. And then this happens. Like, no common sense. None. Um, 
but I'll tell you in September, I guess, if I manage to finish reading these, so please stay hooked. I'll also make an exclusive episode for these books, these five wonderful, I hope, books, um, because it's just more exciting to read them that way, and I look forward to this. I am so excited. Every time I pick the books, I'm like, yes, let's do this. So. <laughs> This is so much fun. I'm having so much fun. Um, but that was it. Those are all the books I'm planning on reading. I say that like it's nothing, but I'll give my best. Um, so please give this video a like if you liked it. Please comment below about any or all or just what books you want to read or you're planning on reading or currently reading because I'm nosy. I want to know. Please tell me. Um, and thank you for watching this. I hope I gave you ideas or books you might want to pick up, even though I know nothing about them yet, so I don't know what to tell you. Um, but yeah, <laughs> uh, please consider subscribing so you can see more of me. And I also have a second channel where I play Sims. How exciting! So please check that one as well. And I'll see you next time. Bye! I just give the earth my soul. Hear my thoughts bounce off the walls.